tonight, it is a battle for survival as Team Balor takes on Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler, and AJ Styles. We also have the World Heavyweight Championship up for grabs as Kevin Owens looks to continue his impressive reign as champion, defending against The Undertaker and Daniel Bryan. Sheamus defends his Intercontinental Championship for the first time. He will be defending against the former champion, none other than the man that gravity forgot, Neville. Nakamura, he's in action as well, looking to continue his impressive start to his Raw career, defending his title, the US title against Cesaro, and it is a loser leaves the brand match, a no holds barred match, Batista versus Jericho, and it is SmackDown versus Raw, Samoa Joe representing SmackDown, Rusev represents Raw, the winner gets a draft pick, and we also have a mystery partner for Charlotte as she teams up with that partner to take on Sasha Banks and Paige, and in our pre-show matchup. It is Damien Sandow against The Miz. If Sandow wins, he gets a contract. If he loses, it's all over. Let's get into Survivor Series. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brendan Plays, and this is Survivor Series. All right, here we go. We're kicking off our pre-show with the return of Kurt Hawkins. He is back. Well, he has officially rejoined the SmackDown roster. And he will be joining the blue brand next week. But tonight, he makes his return here at Survivor Series in the pre-show. I think he has a bit of an announcement to make. As far as we know, he does not have a match scheduled. So we're not exactly sure. But he'll be making his appearance here. And uh, looking to kind of send a bit of a message to the SmackDown locker room, perhaps. Surrounding his return. And we know he's a very tough competitor. Hasn't exactly won the world titles that he might be looking for. Or have the accolades that he would probably want, but he's looking here to come back to SmackDown and have a big impact and really showcase his skills and see what he can do. He's going to be a good addition to the SmackDown roster, we know that for sure. So we'll see how he goes. Kurt Hawkins, he's back in a WWE ring, and he has something to say to the SmackDown audience as well as everybody here at Survivor Series. We'll go check in to see what exactly he has to say to everyone. First of all, it is great to be back here in the WWE. I am so ecstatic to be back here. You know, I've been gone for quite some time and I've been waiting for my opportunity to come back because when I come back, I knew that I could change the world. I knew that I could one day become the world heavyweight champion. I've seen what Kevin Owens has done. He's impressive. But just know this, Kevin. I'm going to come for you. I'm going to come for you and I'm going to take that title away from you. And I'm going to take the title from anyone who wants to get in my way. I want to say a quick thank you to Edge, who we have a lot of history together. And he's a good friend of mine. And he decided to get me a contract here on SmackDown. So I want to say thank you to Edge for having the faith in me to re-sign me back to SmackDown. I will not let you down. And since I'm here, why don't we have the Kurt Hawkins return match right here tonight? I want to see what my competition is like on SmackDown. So I am issuing a challenge to anyone who is from SmackDown to come out here tonight and help me shake off some of the cobwebs, get some of the ring rust off. Someone who can help me just kind of warm up a little bit. So who wants to come out here and take me on? Well, Hawkins has laid down the challenge. Who's going to take it on? Oh, boy. It's the Viper! Randy Orton! Randy Orton has accepted the challenge of Kurt Hawkins. And you want to face the best here on SmackDown? Look no further. It is the Viper, Randy Orton, who is out here tonight, who I think needs a victory himself. This is a big opportunity for Randy to get a win that he's been struggling to get over the last few months. A chance for Randy to be a part of Survivor Series and perhaps take out Kurt Hawkins. So this is... Randy Orton trying to spoil the return of Kurt Hawkins. Well, Hawkins said he wanted a, a bit of a warm-up, a bit of a tune-up match to kind of get rid of the cobwebs. Well, I think he's going to get a little bit more than that here tonight against Randy Orton. This might be a battle for Kurt Hawkins. This will be a tough challenge for him to overcome. We'll see how he fares tonight. The Viper is here. And he's looking to strike. Randy Orton versus Kurt Hawkins. Here we go. And both men just kind of eyeing each other off right now. And Hawkins with the first strike. Oh, Randy blocking the next one. Gets one of his own. Randy now. Couple more strikes. These big right hands. 
Now, already, he's going for the DDT. Randy Orton, he strikes. Orton strikes with one of his best shots already. Hawkins is down. And now, Orton wants to finish the job off. Look out, here it comes, RKO. Oh boy. The RKO already. And I think the return that Hawkins was hoping for is not going to happen tonight. Orton now lines him up again. A second RKO. Well, welcome back to the WWE. Welcome back to SmackDown. Kurt Hawkins, the shoulders, can they get up? No, they can't. It's over. Randy Orton picks up a comfortable and probably one of the easiest wins of his life. Kurt Hawkins had nothing for Orton. The RKO, too good, too deadly. Not once, but twice. Randy Orton getting a much needed victory for himself and maybe ruining the return of Kurt Hawkins. Not the return he was looking for, but the win that Randy Orton was certainly looking for. A big win tonight for Orton, an emphatic statement. And a man who has officially been saved from the upcoming draft from SmackDown. He's one of five who will be sticking around on the blue brand. It's time for our second matchup and our final matchup of the pre-show. It is Damian Sandow up against The Miz in a last man standing match. This is it for Damian Sandow. It is do or die. Potentially his final match here in the WWE. Raw does not want him and SmackDown... Well, our GM Edge is exactly thrilled with his performances. Edge, he wants Sandow to get a victory over The Miz. If he can beat The Miz, Edge will re-sign him to a contract. If he can't beat The Miz, he's going to let him go. Sandow's contract expires at the end of tonight. And he needs this victory. If he can't win tonight, he will be gone. It's a last man standing match, and it's against his bitter rival, The Miz. These two will finally meet one-on-one -on -one to settle the score. So here we go. Here comes one half of the World Tag Team Champions, The Miz. And he and the A-lister, Tyler Breeze, have dominated the World Tag Team Championship division here on SmackDown. But it is the rivalry between The Miz and Sandow we want to focus on here tonight. Let's take you back to SummerSlam where it was... Damien Sandow and The Miz, who are a tag team. They teamed up together to take on the Wyatt family. The Miz turned on Sandow, hitting the skull-crushing finale. He was frustrated that he didn't get the win that night, and he blamed Sandow for their loss. He would eventually split from Sandow, find a new tag team partner in Tyler Breeze, and go on to win the tag team titles. But Damien Sandow made it his mission to make sure that The Miz, his title reign would be short-lived, as Sandow tried to team up with Mick Foley, to try and take down The Miz, and that didn't work out. Mick Foley's contract had expired, and he was not going to be renewed either. So that tag team was short-lived, and now Sandow, he's on the chopping block as well. It's do or die for Sandow. It is last man standing, Damien Sandow versus The Miz. We are underway, ladies and gentlemen, and Miz with a cheeky right hand there. <laughs> it's just Sandow, and the referee wasn't looking. Miz taking advantage of it. And they'll lock up now again. Sandow has the Miz in the corner. Sandow can win. He'll keep his SmackDown career alive. If the Miz can win, he'll finally eradicate Sandow from his life, which has been his goal over the last couple of months to try and remove Sandow from the picture. He's going to deal with him in a tag team capacity as, as partners and opponents. Now they'll finally meet one-on-one -on -one here tonight to settle the differences. Who is truly the better between the two? And can Sandow finally get his revenge as he's been searching for since SummerSlam. The shots now in the midsection of The Miz. Bouncing off the knee now, there's Sandow. Sandow down, a count of 10 is required to win this one, of course. And basically, you'll need to find one big move that you feel as though can keep your opponent down for 10 seconds. It's tough to do. It's quite often tough to keep your opponent down for 3 seconds, let alone 10. So no doubt about it, the pressure will be on both these two men to try and take each other out. That's a neck breaker there by The Miz. Sandow is down. Back to his feet now. So no Maurice, no Tyler Breeze ringside. They were banned from ringside. 
to make this one a fair one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's exactly what Sandow needed. He needed a, needed a fair shot at the Miz. A chance for these two just to settle it, get it done in the ring, beat the hell out of each other, and finish this situation between the two. Close line there by Sandow, taking Miz off his feet. Clubbing him right in the chest and the throat there. Now the Miz. Look out. Here comes a DDT swinging down and spiking Sandow head first. The count begins with Sandow back to his feet. Sandow won't want to give the Miz a chance to really gain momentum. You know, getting a count, I would say past five, will really give the Miz a lot of confidence. If Sandow can keep those counts low, that might just worry the Miz a little bit. But once the counts get to five, six, maybe even up to eight, nine, that's when things start to get worrisome for Sandow. Miz now swinging down in the back of Sandow's neck, launched into the mat. Now, Miz will get Sandow back to his feet. Just finish that off. If you can get near that 10 count, the closer you get, the better the, you know, the situation is going to be for yourself. You know, the Miz knows if you can keep that pressure on and really make Sandow work for it, that's when he's just going to keep going, keep on going and just really finish this one off. Sandow needs to keep those counts low. Keep getting it back to his feet as soon as he possibly can. It's going to take more out of the tank to do so. It's going to be harder to get back to your feet. But if he can do it, that's when Miz will start to get a little bit worried. Count of five now. Sandow maybe taking a breather. This is also a chance for both men to kind of regroup and regain their energy. Count of eight now. Sandow realizes the count gets back to his feet. Here he comes. Tempted scoop slam. Not going to get it though. Miz striking him from behind. And now look out, grabs the head again, face first, planted right down, and now he's been driven right into the mat, and the Miz feels as though he may have him again here. The pressure now on Sandow, count of three, can he get back to his feet? He's trying, he's trying to squirm a little bit, and finally he's back up, and Miz is not going to let him get back all the way up. Going to continue the pressure here. Swinging netbreaker again. And Miz is going to try his luck again, I think. Just keep this pressure on Sandow. Hit one move, then see if he can get up or not. It's an interesting strategy. I feel like the Miz should probably keep on going here. He's got momentum. He's got control of this match. Just keep on assaulting Sandow. Keep the pressure on. Keep the offense coming. And that will give him a much better chance to win this one. But instead, he feels as though... Maybe this one move will get it done for me. And now, driving Sandow head first again, really working down the head of Sandow. Sandow may be concussed here. That one's spiking him right down, diving straight in to the mat head first. And Sandow is in a lot of trouble, but he's been able to get back to his feet a little bit quicker this time. But the Miz, another big knee. The Miz is now in complete control. Sandow just can't really get anything going here. And the longer this goes on for, the harder it's going to be for Sandow to come back into this matchup. You can see he's trying to get back up. But I guess the pressure of this match, the situation he's currently in, he knows this is do or die. And how much... Can he go long? How much longer can he go for? I mean, oh, there we go. There you go. Something there from Sandow. And I guess that the mental pressure and all the anguish he's faced over the last few months has been so difficult for him to overcome. He's trying to fight through it. He's trying to keep going, trying to remain positive. But things have been tough for Sandow. And now his career is on the line. It's even tougher. Miz face first off the knee, busting the face. Of the Miz. Sand now. Throws him back. But Miz straight back to his feet. Trying to fight back here. Trying to get himself going again. Sandow's trying to get himself back in this match. A snap suplex now. And Miz is going to be happy just to wait it out here. Get the pressure back on Sandow. Let him get back to his feet. Can he beat the 10 count? Or is this going to be it? Is this going to be the final moments of his SmackDown and Survivor Series career? Count of seven now. Back to his feet. And look out. Neck breaker again. Miz now heading to the top of the rope. Trying to finish it off. 
Trying to go bang bang here. Here it comes. Drops the fist off the top. Landing right on the skull. Miz now in complete control. And just raking the nose of Sandow. Sandow now headed into the corner. The Miz. What has he got planned here? No, Sandow countering. Had to counter, but Miz gets back. He's going to pick Sandow up with the top right hand there. Oh boy. This is not going to be good for Sandow. He's going to block this. Miz setting him up for a superplex to the outside of the ring. Sandow could be broken. And I don't think he's going to be able to get back to his feet now. Miz has done it, I think. He's confident. He's heading back in the ring. The count begins. Sandow not moving at all. He is struggling here. His body destroyed by that superplex to the outside. After taking a great deal of damage earlier on, you'd have to say this is going to be it. He is moments away from his career being ended. And there it is. The Miz has ended Sandow's career. Well, there it was, the referee counting away, and Sandow just had no chance of really getting up at all. Didn't even look like getting up. The Miz has done it. The Miz and Sandow's career, and The Miz wins here at Survivor Series. Now he can continue to focus on the tag team titles here on SmackDown. A massive victory, and he is the last man standing. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our pre-show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys check out the main show, Survivor Series, coming away very, very soon. Look forward to seeing you at Survivor Series. If you enjoyed the pre-show, remember to leave a like on this video as well to show your support. And I cannot wait to bring you guys Survivor Series. Hopefully you enjoy it. And make sure you subscribe to see more episodes of Universe World coming up from me in the near future.